Hi, my name is Andrei Luskotov and I'm presenting today Finebox Eclipse plugin. Let's start Finebox. We can start it on a working set, on a list of projects. Uh, analysis is uh, started in parallel or can be started in parallel. You see that the result is shown in problems view and as labels in a package explorer. We can disable labels uh, on uh, files, folders or projects. Uh, we can enable them again. Uh, it's not a big deal. By default, labels are enabled. Uh, Finebox, uh, we can navigate to the editor from the problems view, and from here we can see that Finebox is shown on a right uh, on a left ruler. We can show Finebox information view. We can show also uh, Bug Explorer view, and we can uh, show uh, the same uh, uh, open the same views from a package explorer. Uh, navigation is pretty uh, straightforward. You can uh, navigate to types from a fine box, uh, uh, from bug details. Uh, you can um, see uh, bug details and bug description and pro uh, possible uh, solution for the bug uh, in the bug info view. You can also see here corresponding bug explorer categories, for example, in bug pattern and rank and confidence. Uh, we can also open a properties view on a um, problem uh, generated by Finebox and see some developer related information there. Uh, let's uh, try uh, to fix this uh, bug. To fix a bug, we first uh, I would like to enable the project uh, group and to, uh, to uh, verify that I have a right settings for the project. In order to automatically run Finebox on save, we have to enable Finebox builder. Uh, which uh, is done by project. Uh, for each project, you have to enable this manually. Uh, after modifying or fixing the code, uh, we save the code and Firebox analysis starts. You see that the bug disappears. After undoing the change uh, find, uh, and saving again, we'll, we can verify that Firebox finds the same, uh, can find uh, this problem again. Uh, as you see, uh, we have in a bug explorer a different grouping, so I can easily switch the groups. Uh, but we have also filtering, so we can hide some patterns from the uh, bug explorer. We can uh, quickly toggle this filtering from bug explorer itself or uh, use this dialog to uh, disable or enable specific uh, um, bug patterns. You see we have a huge list of bug patterns uh, which fine bugs can detect and of course each of them can be uh, filtered out. Uh, let's now um, run a fine bugs on a different working set because fine bugs also uh, supports uh, displaying of bugs per working set. You see that uh, the selection is done via menu. Uh, we can switch between working sets or deselect and show all the available bugs in Bug Explorer. In the fine box, we have also uh, different uh, fine box specific preferences, uh, which allows you to configure which bugs should be shown in fine box and how they should be shown. For example, I've enabled now that fine box shows the some scariest uh, warnings as compiler errors. We can limit the number of warnings, which is uh, shown by Finebox, uh, by uh, specifying which confidence we have to would like to see and, for example, which rank we would like to have. I would like, for example, here only troubling and medium uh, severity or Finebox uh, warnings shown. We can enable, uh, include or exclude filter files for, uh, in Finebox. This is also can be done per workspace or per project. We can enable a third party detectors and we can uh, disable or enable specific detectors available uh, for fine bugs. Uh, let's now uh, to show uh, how we can uh, remove fine bugs warnings if you don't like to see them anymore. And I think we're nearing uh, to the end of our presentation now. Uh, Finebox is available as Eclipse plugins, but of course it has a standalone uh, GUI and uh, we also support end, uh, end tasks. Please visit us uh, for more information and I hope you enjoyed uh, this presentation. Thank you. Bye bye.